Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com. In about a month ago, we went over why someone would want to buy a very simple single button laser distance measure. Now in this video, we're gonna go over a one step up or two steps up laser distance measure that has multi buttons and we'll go over why someone might wanna move up a little bit there's a lot of complexity that you can find in laser distance measures as far as what they will do. We chose the Bosch GLM-165 line to show you this because they're very similar. They both have the same measuring distance. That's 165 feet. They're both very accurate. You can be used you know, from 14 degrees all on up to a little bit over 114, I believe. So they're very accurate, do the same things. They just have a different way of getting through the menus and some of the display items, but the display is basically the same. So when you jump into a multi-button unit, you get the option of looking at things in different ways. It doesn't have to be feet and inches. It doesn't have to just be meters. It can also be feet with decimals. It can be meters with decimals. It can be all kinds of different things. And that is a huge advantage when you're using these in non-traditional ways. If you're a painter, if you're a realtor, and you're going in and you're just taking measurements, like we said, this is perfect. You got feet and inches. That's what you're gonna want. That's what you're gonna record. But when you're using it like we did, like in side-by-sides, checking a frame, doing something a little bit different than what you might as a realtor or a painter or a carpenter, Having these different options is very important. So let's come in and take a look at what exactly you'll see in the menu and how easy it is to actually use. Looking at this unit a little closer, you can turn it on in multiple different ways by either using the measuring button or the power or clear button at the bottom. You can use this unit in a real time. So if I move it around, it will change what it's looking at. We can record that by hitting the measure and if I want to measure again, it'll put that number up top. I can then record that, hit the measure button again, and I can save up to 10 things in here. I mean, there's different uh, ways you can go about it, but if we want to hit the function button, this will take us to where we're doing an area of something, so we can measure. And it will tell us our total area that we have measured out. If we want to move on, we can do a total cube. And it'll calculate out our cubic feet. And then from there, I mean, we can figure out different areas of triangles. We can do a lot of different measurements that are here. But beyond the measurements, what really shines to me is what do we want to do as far as how we measure. This is feet and decimals, meters with decimals, just inches, feet and inches. I, I really like the ability to just choose between all of them. And then beyond that, you can choose if you want the beeping sound on. But there's not a lot to this unit, which makes it nice because it's still simple and easy to use. You have options, but it's still simple. So as you can see from that very quick demonstration, the one button unit is easy to use, but you add a couple more buttons to it and a little bit of flexibility and options, and you can have another unit that is very simple to use, but gives you different ways of saving different measurements, different ways of going into functions of cubic area, just square feet, a lot of different options that aren't hard to use, it's easy once you get used to the buttons, you know, and there's not much to the manual. This unit is simple to get into, simple to use, spend five minutes and you've got it all down. That's one thing that I like about this line. You can go from very simple to a little bit more complex and you can keep moving up and Bosch has some units that are very, very intricate and can figure out some amazing distances and angles and feet. You can check out and figure out the size of a window that is on the second story without leaving the ground. Cool stuff that's out there with this, but don't pick one that's too complex for what you're doing. You wanna find that happy medium of as simple as you can find 
with all the options that you want. So I hope this helps you out. We'll continue to move up the scale a little bit to show you maybe where the end of where you want to be is and get you that right price point so that you have everything you want to do in a small package that's easy to use. Make sure you give us a like in this video, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you for your time, guys. Have a great day.